Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for key lime cheesecake pie. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need a graham cracker crust. I am using store-bought, but if you wanna make your own, that's just fine. Some sugar, a couple of eggs at room temperature, softened cream cheese, and mine is at room temperature. You're going to need some evaporated milk and key lime juice. And I am using bottled key lime juice. If you want to squeeze your own key limes, that is fine, but this is much, much easier. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off by creaming our softened cream cheese in sugar on high speed for about three minutes or until it's light and fluffy. So now we're gonna add in our two eggs and beat it for another minute. Next, we're gonna add in our key lime juice and our evaporated milk. And we're gonna mix this on low until it's well combined. Now I'm just going to pour the mixture into the pie crust. And if you like really quick and easy recipes like this, I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. Okay, so this is ready for the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for about 40 minutes or until that center is set. This is just a regular graham cracker crust. If you can find the ones that have um, an extra two servings, I think it is, I would get that one. Um, I have a little bit of that cheesecake batter left over. Um, so if you can find a larger pan, that would be, or a larger graham cracker crust, that would be better. All right, but I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll be back. I forgot to mention, you are going to wanna put that um, pie on a cookie sheet before you bake it. And then also I realized in my pantry, I happened to have some of those mini graham cracker pie crust. So that extra filling that I had, I just added it to the uh, little pie. So I don't think those small pies are gonna take 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on them. Okay, so here are the pies. I just took them out of the oven. Here are the smaller pies. I completely forgot to take them out earlier, and so this is what they look like. But I am going to let the pies cool, and then I am going to pop them in the refrigerator until they are nice and cold. And then of course I'll bring them out and show you all what they look like all plated up. Okay, so here is the pie. I let it chill in the refrigerator for about six hours, and I've garnished it with a little bit of whipped topping and lime slices, and here is the entire pie. And I will make sure to link the recipe in the description box. If you enjoyed this recipe, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, and I'll link the entire playlist of quick and easy desserts in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.